Hi, I'm Derek Goodwin. Welcome to the Mastercam for SolidWorks video training series. In this course, I'll show you how to design mechanical components using SolidWorks and then prepare them for manufacturing by applying toolpaths in Mastercam. SolidWorks and Mastercam are standalone software products. SolidWorks is the leading CAD program, which stands for Computer Aided Design. Mastercam is the leading CAM program, which stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing. Mastercam for SolidWorks is a plug-in for SolidWorks that combines the two software products into one environment. Some of the things that we'll be covering in these tutorials are sketching 2D geometry in SolidWorks, extruding sketches into 3D models, and editing your geometry using SolidWorks powerful parametric capability, which means that when you change a feature, all related features will update automatically based on how you construct your model. Once you've designed your part in SolidWorks, you click on the Mastercam tab and begin applying toolpaths to your geometry. Mastercam toolpaths are a graphical representation that simulates the cutting motion of a CNC machining center. CNC machining centers use computer-generated code to drive cutting tools that sculpt very precise shapes from a variety of materials. Mastercam allows you to visualize the cutting process and to ensure that you're cutting your geometry correctly on the computer monitor and then creates the computer code, which is known as G-code, that controls the motion of the CNC machining center. Once you begin designing your own products, there's one thing that we can guarantee, and that is that your design will change as you begin to prototype and develop different iterations. This is where the partnership between Mastercam and SolidWorks really begins to pay off. You can make changes to your part geometry in SOLIDWORKS and then automatically update your toolpaths and make a new component in Mastercam. So let's get started with an overview of the SOLIDWORKS interface. The goal when you begin to design components in SOLIDWORKS is to build a model that can be modified as your ideas evolve. So as you begin creating sketch geometry, it's important not just to think in terms of dimensions, such as length, width, and height, but to think in terms of relations. Dimensions specify how big a component will be, whereas relations define how things fit together and how they work. Every model begins with a sketch, and a sketch is just that, an outline. The sketch should contain the least amount of information necessary to define a feature. As your design evolves, don't make the sketch more complicated, just add more features. Let's get started and you'll see what I mean. In the next video, we will create the part geometry for the Desk Set project. 